Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name's Steph and I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. So today I'm going to be doing my third look with the beautiful Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty and this is what she looks like on the inside. I haven't played with the orange and red yet so I'm thinking I'm going to be using this red, this orange to blow it out. Uh, I might use a bit of the, the brownie colour um, if I need to deepen up or anything. And for the lid, I'm not sure whether I want to use this beautiful gold or this colour here. I haven't decided yet, so we shall see. So firstly, I'm just going to take a more kind of precise brush. I don't know if that's going to focus. Um, this one's from uh, Makeup by Tammy. And I'm going to dip into the red. Ooh. She's very pigmented. And I'm going to just be... I don't know if this is the right brush actually. We'll see. Maybe just forgetting the placement. That is beautiful. Right, let's just get this on and then we will think about blending out I'm really enjoying this palette so far I do have to admit it is absolutely gorgeous I'm uh, hoping that Miali Beauty comes out with something and um, because obviously the owner of Miali Beauty had Blush Tribe and there was the Hasina 2, I believe it was called, the like blues, greens, purples. I really would love to see Miali Beauty bring out something like that. That would be amazing. I know it just looks like a big mess of red at the moment, but it will come together in the end. is the hope right yeah this is not going to be the right brush no nope 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 <laughs> we need to swap brushes i think so uh you can go to bed um what shall i use I'm just going to try this uh zoeva knockoff brush the knockoff of the 230 and I am going to put my colour switch down <laughs> and I'm going to uh, just see what we can do with the blend. Oh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is use the orange, I think, to blend out the edges of this red. Although it's blending very well by itself, I'd like the uh, the orange in there too. That's really nice red. That is a really nice colour. Wow. I do really, really like that. Yeah. 
yeah I think that's quite a nice blend so next I am going to oh crikey grab the actual oh no this is uh hmm, grab the Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease 231 and I'm going to dip into the orange and I'm just gonna tap off I'm just gonna take that over the edges here just to blend out this red that's nice I will re-intensify the red further in in a bit but for now I just want to get this blend nice <laughs> Yeah, that blends nice. They blend just, oh, effortlessly. They're just so beautiful. So I'm just going to re-intensify this red further in because uh, I think I've uh, kind of lost it a little bit blending it with the orange. There we go. And she's back. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm impressed with uh, how they've blended together. Really, really impressed. Hmm, so. Do we want to deepen up that outer edge there? Let's see. So I think I'm going to attempt to deepen up the edge just with the uh, the brown and see what it does. Um, not just to deepen, I also just want to try it. So... Let's see what she... Oh, okay. Yeah. This could work. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to dip between the two. So, dip of that and a dip of that. Have a tap off. And then see... Yeah, that's what I wanted. So that's kind of created the bit of the the deeper red for the corner there. <laughs> So what do I want on the lid? I think what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to stick some of my e.l.f. glitter primer on. Um, and just to give it something extra to stick to. That mirror doesn't work, it's too far away. I'm just... I'm not being too precise, it's not, I'm not looking particularly for a, a cut crease, just, I think I am going to go in with that gold, you know, and she's off, yeah, I think I am going to go in with that gold, Okay, so now that's set down a bit, I'm going to go in with that gold, I think. Which brush do I want to use? The Zoeva Luxe Smoky Shader. I quite like this for putting on shimmers, actually. It works, I think, really work, picks up really nicely. Um, at the moment, 
I think I look a bit like a, a flaming hot Cheeto. Is that what they're called? That's what I feel like. Um, she picks up nice. So let's have a see what she does. Oh, look at that. She pretty. Oh, she very pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. And because I don't want to be too precise, I'm just going to kind of smoke the edge into the, the crease a little bit. Just because I want it to have a nice little blend just to bring a few of the glitter particles up Crikey, she blends well and that's a very 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 pretty colour I'm not generally one for gold very often but I think this tone is so beautiful it's a really it's got a really nice kind of yellowy undertone to it but not too kind of bright yellow I don't know how to describe it I suck at describing things as if you've been around for a bit you'll have worked that one out already if you haven't Welcome to my world. Or something like that. I've just wiped the brush off a bit. And just so that I can uh, fluff these edges a little bit more. Because I didn't want... I didn't want a cut creasy kind of look. I just kind of want them to... Make friends. Um, so I'm going to take um, just my little Zoeva Lux pencil, um, I'm just going to dip into a bit of the red just to bring her back in just to help that blend a bit more. Yeah I think that's working, sorry about Poppy. Again, if you've been around, you will know she is an old girl. Her hearing's going. <laughs> Every noise is like we're under attack. But she can't help it, bless her. Yeah, I like that. So, I think I'm going to take the... Uh, the knockoff of that <laughs> that I've got and I'm just going to dab, dab between the brown and the red again um, just to come in here and deepen up that outer corner a little bit so the lower lash line what do I want to do with the lower lash line Right, so I'm just going to dip again between the red and the brown, just on the uh, Zoeva smudger. I'm just going to kind of stamp that. So just stamping that mixture of the red and brown just along my lower lash line there. Just to... Uh, I'm in together. Just on my little Zoeva Lux pencil, I am going to dip into the orange, tap her off, and I'm going to use her to smudge out that red and brown a bit. Nice. Yeah, 
definitely like a flaming hot Cheeto. But I kind of like it. I'm just going to take just a little bit extra of the red. Yeah, just, I think it's gone a bit too dark. Bring back the vibrancy just a little bit there. Yeah. Right, so I'm pretty happy with that now. I'm liking that. So what I'm going to do is head off camera, do my liner, lashes, lips, etc. And then I will be back with you to discuss my actual final thoughts on the beautiful Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty. I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so liner, lashes and lippy on, what do you think? I'm really happy with it, really, really happy with it. I do feel a bit like a flaming hot Cheeto, but I'm not mad at that. So uh, what I've put on my eyes, I popped some of the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Snow Queen in my waterline. I thought that that would uh, make the red pop a bit more. Um, I used the mascara That's How I Roll from Barry M. I'm really enjoying this actually and it is fantastic for getting those lower lashes without making a mess. Um, I used the eyeliner from e.l.f. the uh, same one I always use. Um, the lashes are from Makeup by Lisa in the style Raven and I did use the duo glue. It's just the uh, clear white one. Now I'm getting the hang of it. I'm preferring this. I can see why people rave about that glue. Um, I used the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I thought the gold look went really, really well with uh, the eye look. Um, I didn't use a blush. I decided just to go in bronze. Um, so I used the I Heart Revolution Milk Chocolate. And I used uh, this one here. And for my lips, I went in with the Melt Lipstick, the Bullet Lipstick in Old Fashioned. Really like that. I didn't want to... I am denied about a red lip, but then I thought I don't want to take away from the eye look. So I went with brown. So yeah. Um, and now, my final thoughts on the Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty. Um absolutely stunning palette i have not found a dud shade in here i have so enjoyed working with this palette and uh, i am so happy to have her in my collection absolutely stunning stunning palette that red is just really nice i do think it has a a slight pinky undertone um which is where i added the uh when I added the brown, it went better with the orange. Um, but absolutely fantastic palette. My favourite colour is that green. Um, just stunning. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes blend so well. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, final thoughts on the Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty. Well done, girl more like this please um in particular one with more blues greens and purples maybe a bit of yellow i don't ask for much <laughs> um but yeah absolutely fantastic love it love it love it love it so yeah that's it from me for today um if you have made it to the end please leave me a purple heart emoji and uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see, drop me a comment in the box below and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. So until next time, thank you so much for joining me. It has been wonderful having you with me as always. If you have enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, like it. It really helps me out. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So until next time, take care, look after yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.